pilot. We know that. Um, here's a group one. Here's the field. We'll get back to the top in a moment, but the one they have to beat is Bo Rosser. I think she can run an outstanding race. And from Linda Meach, trying to be the first female rider to win this, but also the first mum to win a Group 1 in Australia. That will be some feat, I think, especially she, he's not very old, Anthony, her son, so it's very exciting to see Linda out there. Bo Rosso, she'll, she'll have him just in behind the speed, I think, and he'll need a little bit of luck to get out, but he's racing so well, I think he's definitely going to be featuring right in the finish. And the handicap suits meets Behemoth, one, uh, three and a half kilos better off. Six is Buffalo River, seven Sierra Sioux will run a terrific race. Uh, Bruce and Mildura Cup, Lawrence Great, no luck last start. She's a good 1,400 metre horse, isn't she? Because she won the Rose of Kingston last spring. She's at the peak of her powers, I think, uh, Richo. She's a very good chance. She's probably at the right odds in a great race. It's a very good um, renewal, I think, of the Sir Rupert Clark. She's going to run well. Ground Sweller, well, he was around that call for Guinea's time as a three-year-old. We know he got gilded. He was a high-priced yearling. He's come back as a pretty solid horse. I think he's that level below, guys, don't you? Yeah, he's been gilded. So he's group one uh, placed in a Caulfield Guineas, and so is Asar, who's a gilded. Caulfield Guineas place getter, horse number nine, Irish Flame. What a run that was in the Chautauqua. We, he's a Ballarat Cup winner. It's hard to believe he's going to be competitive over this short trip, Michelle. Yeah, he's also by the same sire as very, very elegant. Um, but yeah, he was great first up, running third at Mini Valley last time. And uh, you think he's going to need further against this class, but we'll look to see how he goes today. Romance is an 11, the Western Australian Summers Dart, the 12, Amish Boy. There he is, the 13, Dean Yendall won the race with Santa around the lane. Uh, the Ma used well, Kieran won it with Bon Orem. I love this horse, Richard, and I think he's going to be really charging late. He's going to be a horse that's going to be on the outside getting clear running, and I think that's very important for how this looks to map out. Fred Kersley, a huge opportunity here with Dice Roll. This is my best roughie in the race for Nick Ryan. Uh, he ran third in a French Guineas uh, when he was uh, trained in Europe. Dice Roll, he's been fantastic since he's been in Australia, um, especially around the 1,400 metres. He'll be right there on speed. He'll be camped behind the speed. He's trialled really well for this, uh, and it'll be a great story for Nick Ryan and Fred Kersley, if Fred was able to win a Group 1 with Nick Ryan um, combining, would it be fantastic? And this is the sort of race they could do it. And Bruce regards Marie. Sounds like a girl, but he's not. He's a gilded son of so you think. He had that great summer. He had that little summer star he was. He's going well, but I've said it about one other horse, Groundswell. I think he's a Group 3 -er. I don't think he can win a big handicap at Group 1. I could be wrong. Uh, he's going to run a good race. Poland's unbeaten at 1,400, Richo. He can fire up. Do you give him any hope? I certainly do. He, I was between he and Dice Roll as my best roughie in the race. I loved his first up run, second up. Hot tempo will suit him. He can be camped right there on that hot tempo. And uh, I think he can run a terrific race for Mike Moroni, who won the race back with Perno in 2002. And this is a horse everyone's talking about, Matt. On Thunderstruck. Yeah, look, he's a spice shocking. And can't shocking get a horse? I mean, every now and then he gets this outstanding horse. And uh, look, he could be a Golden Eagle horse, Richo. I mean, he's very exciting. He gets the run. Mick Price was umming and ahhing whether he wanted to get the run because of the bad draw. But he's a top-class horse in the making, I think. And here's Behemoth. Um, you made a good point, Michelle. Uh, Craig's got a good draw to keep Brett Preble in a bit of a pocket and keep him snared down. And maybe Linda Meach as well. Yeah, I think that's right, Bruce. So I think he's uh, definitely uh, going to be looking back to the inside, but I think he'll be looking out also for that horse we just saw, Iron Thunderstruck, who has drawn an awkward barrier, but he just looks like he's, he's a future star. And Jamie Richards presents his fantastic mare in Proper Bill. Gary Searle, back in 1995, our Mays K, the last New Zealand base trainer to win this race. Uh, she's a beauty, Proper Bill Finchie. It's a great field. Let's look at the market top selection in the Sir Rupert Clark. Richo, I think it's a fascinating race. There's so much to unpack pre-race with it. Uh, I've linked to Probabile. I think uh, she's a gun 1,400 metre horse and she always builds off that first up run. I've got great respect for Dice Roll. I think the fascinating thing is often in big handicaps the big chances don't even see each other in the run because they're drawn so far apart. In this race we've got Bo Rossa, Probabile, Behemoth all right next to each other virtually. So I think the tactics early from those inside draws will be fascinating. And the money for I'm Thunderstruck, I think he's a really good talent. I just wonder if he's got the race smarts to win a 1,400 metres around Caulfield. If he does, look out the Golden Eagle uh, because he'll be better at 1,500 and better again uh, with a bit more experience. But uh, I am with Probabil. Just on his race smarts, and when you've drawn the wide gate, 
what would your instructions be to Jai McNeil? Do, do you have to just concede and sit out towards the rear? Oh, I think so. Uh, you, the one thing, as Michelle would uh, attest to, on the home turn of Corfield, you just don't want to be speared wide. If something takes him around the bend, because he's still not that you know, sharp about it and he wants to lay in a little bit, I think he'll just want something to cart him around the bend. Then he can peel out and use that devastating turn of foot he's got. But I think the home turn will be a really crucial point of the race for him. If he gets speared off out wide, he could really lose his action and, and lose his chances. But uh, that'll be the, the time of the race where John McNeil's got to be at his sharpest. Michelle, it's a quintessential Australian racing, isn't it? A big field in a Group 1 handicap. It is. It's the most exciting time of year when we see all these horses back for the spring. And I think Behemoth's just going to get the run. I think he's drawn the right barrier. I would be really keen to see how it pans out for Iron Thunderstruck, as Dean said. Um, he might get onto the back of a horse like Amish Boy, and you just don't know. It's the luck in running, isn't it? But, um, yeah, I think prob uh, probably... Obviously, she's the class runner, but I, I think uh, Bohem is just going to get a bit better run from the barrier. He won it with 60 last year. He has 59 this year. Who's the market mover, Finchy? Yeah, well, I'm thunderstruck, Richo. About 50% of the bets in the last five minutes have come from the number 17. It was $8. It's now to $4.20, uh, the points bet market mover. Bo Rosser, Linda Meach goes forward. Good luck, Meachy. Trying to become the first mum to win a Group 1 in Australia. it would be an incredible story. I've got her on top. I think dice rolls the value in the race. Bruce, who have you got? I'm with Probabil. You mentioned Behemoth of a weight. Interesting, Richo. So one kilo less this year. But last year, because of COVID, the minimum was 54. So he was actually six above last year. He's seven above this year. That's why he seemingly looks so well in this year. Yeah, it's great insight. So here we go. The Sir Rupert Clark Stakes. Uh, group one, first run in 1951. Behemoth uh, is trying to go back to back and join Testa Ross. A Poland goes forward. Horse number six in Buffalo River. He'll go quick. Uh, he's first up from a spell. We know he's a fierce-going horse. He was formerly trained by John Gosden at Newmarket in England. Here's a Ballarat Cup winner, second up from a spell in Irish Flame going forward. Can the Western Australians win with Samazdat? This is going to be a ripper. Here's Matt Hill. $4.20, just second favourite at the moment. Probabil holding the call at $4.00. But I'm Thunderstruck favourite with the bookmakers. Azar goes in, Harry Coffey. Dice roll about to join them with also Amish Boy. Amish Boy goes in. Stable winning the race in 2016 with Bonora. Dice roll goes forward, Dallas Sand joins them. And the two OTI runners will complete the line. Romancer, the first of them, goes into a middle alley and that will leave I'm Thunderstruck. Winner of four from six. What will he do in a group one? Light rain sweeps across the track. I'm thunderstruck. The last one in with Jai McNeil, and the field is set for the Sir Rupert Clark. Sitting at the 1400 metres, a beautiful line. Samazdat going back to second last. I'm Thunderstruck has dragged back to last. Bo Rosser jumped very well with Buffalo River ground swell. As Buffalo River led ground swell, Bo Rosser box seating. Azar coming over. Then came Behemoth Dice Roll Probabil from Irish Flame Sierra Sue regards Marie. Samazdat is two thirds down the field. The inside of Poland followed by Romanza. Then Amish Boy Dallas Sand second last at I'm Thunderstruck at the end. Buffalo River at the 850, steadied three quarters of a length ground swell. Bo Ross a third from Azar. Two links behemoth in the centre outside of Probabil and Dice Roll three wide around those. A link Sierra Sue regards Marie, Irish Flame and Samus Dad in a line. Then came Poland Amish Boy Romanza, Dallas San and last time Thunderstruck at the 500. Buffalo River by a half length the ground swell getting closer. Azar peels three wide. Bo Ross sits and waits and then Dice Roll getting going. Behemoth about four off the lead from Probabil, then Irish Flame regards Marie, I'm Thunderstruck, still third, last groundswell Buffalo River, with now Bo Rossa, Azar and Dice Roll all queuing up, Probabil, Behemoth behind those horses across the track, Azar, Bo Rossa and Dice Roll at the 150, Sierra Sue running on, Dice Roll in front, Sierra Sue's coming at Dice Roll, Sierra Sue beat Dice Roll and I'm Thunderstruck late for third, they were followed by Azar and Probabil, next Dallas San Army Boy Behemoth. Further back was Bo Rosser, Buffalo River Irish Flame Romances, Samazdat Ground Swell Punch it up Poland and regards Marie.
Birthday boy salutes, 40 years of age. He wins a Group 1, his first Australian Group 1. Daniel Moore is an Australian Group 1 winner and he times it perfectly on Sierra Sue. Just nailed Dice Roll, who pays six bucks the place. $12.350 for Sierra Sue. Dice Roll second. Eye catcher is on, Thunderstruck. And Bruce with about uh, 400 metres to go. I didn't know where to look. They were coming from everywhere. That's a super story. It is. It's a typical seven furlong group one, all those big handicaps that we talked about. Have a look at them. It's a charge of the light brigade. It's a great story. She's a seven furlong specialist, isn't she? And she's in the form of her life. And well done to Trent and Natalie. They've done a wonderful job. And for, for Buckets, it's just the best day possible, isn't it? Some great runs. I mean, I'm Thunderstruck was stunning, to be truthful. Probably Bill was never travelling. I never liked her in the run. And she battled on well. There were a couple of maybe hard luck stories, but... She's a fabulous mare, and I thought we'd almost lost her, uh, Richo and Michelle, as a top line. I thought, Optimil Jura for the Cup, that, that's not a Group 1 filly, is it? And here she comes. And Asar will run fourth. That had put a smile on the face of Leneva Park. They've purchased into him as a maybe a future stallion. Uh, he runs fourth, and Probabil runs fifth. But Michelle, Buckets Moore, on his 40th birthday, wins his first Group 1. That's the way to do it, isn't it, Richo, on your birthday, to get your first Group 1? It, it, as Bruce said, it wasn't um, the lead-up you'd sort of pick going from Mildura to, to a Group 1, but just look at her. She's so gutsy. She really sticks her head out, and she wanted to win that. Great run by Dice Roll and really exciting by Iron Thunderstruck, who looks like he'd be...